Just how dirty is your water bottle? That is the question WRTV investigates set out to answer. Our Kara Kitty took reusable bottles to the experts and they showed us something you'd find in a toilet. A reusable water bottle is cheaper and better for the environment than, say, a single-use plastic bottle. But the reality is many people don't regularly wash their bottles. But just how bad is that really? We enlisted the help of a microbiology lab to find out. Can I uh, borrow your bottle here? Go for it. All right. First step, we gathered up half a dozen bottles from our homes and our newsroom. We're just going to see if anything's growing in here. Yeah. I'm afraid to find out. <laughs> and lastly, we're just going to use one of my bottles. I've been using this for probably a month now and haven't washed it. We made sure to include different types, including stainless steel, plastic, screw tops, and straws, including this Stanley owned by a WRTV employee's 10-year-old child. Next, we took the water bottles to a microbiology lab at the IU School of Medicine. All right, I got some water bottles for you. Right, Assistant Professor you. Jay Vornhagen. I study bacteria and how they cause infection. Jay says our hands and mouths carry germs. And those can be on those water bottles, in those water bottles, and if you're not cleaning them properly, you know, there's a chance that they may make you sick. The lab labels all of our bottles. Then a graduate student and a research analyst swab them. They added one of their own bottles as well. So we included what we would call a control. So we actually took a water bottle and put bacteria on that water bottle. Jay and his team will test for germs and pathogens, which are organisms that can produce diseases. So we'll know everything a week from now. We waited while the experts did their thing. Hey, we're back. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Ready to see what you got? Absolutely. Let's, Let's take do a look. it. While the samples look bad, five of the six water bottles did not have any bad bacteria that can make you sick. The bad news, the 10-year-old Stanley Cup had some concerning things on it. We found a couple of pathogens that are interesting. One is Staphylococcus. So you've probably heard of it, Staphylococcus aureus. It's like MRSA. Jay has a hairy take on how it got there. So if you have a dog that interacts with the water bottle, sometimes the bacteria from the dog's mouth can get in and on those spaces. The researchers found even more. So this is what we call coliform bacteria. And we think about them usually coming from the gut. So not to get too gross, so yeah. is this poop? Yes. That's really gross. It happens, right? We have lots of different illnesses that pass through what's called the fecal oral route, where we get some kind of fecal contamination. It goes into our food, into our water. So we've got something like MRSA, poop, what else? We did find a couple examples of those antibiotic resistant bacteria. That's these little circles here. So that just indicates that the poop bacteria itself may also be able to fight off some of those antibiotics. So where did all these bacteria come from? Jay suspects the water bottle was brought into a bathroom or locker room setting. Just one more reason to, to keep the water bottles out of the bathrooms and away from toilets and things like that. Speaking of toilets, a 2022 study found a reusable water bottle had 40,000 times the bacteria of a toilet seat. The study from Water Filter Guru also found water bottles with spouts and screw tops were the dirtiest kinds compared to squeeze tops. The report found nearly 15% of Americans clean their water bottles only a few times per month. Remember that water bottle researchers added to our test? So this is the bacteria, these purple circles that we actually put on the water bottle, mm -hmm. right? And then what we did is clean the water bottle with warm water and soap. And what you can see is after that wash, there's no bacteria. What so, does that say to you? So that says that warm water and soap is sufficient to clean a water bottle. Jay also points out most of the time you're getting sick from other people, not from germs on your own water bottle. But certain groups of people could be more impacted by a dirty water bottle. But if you're immunocompromised, if you're old, you know, that's something that you need to really be considered about because that could make you sick, yeah. Experts recommend washing your water bottle daily and doing a deep clean at least once a week. That involves taking your water bottle apart and washing each part individually, including under the lid. Kara Kenny, WRTV.
Very interesting, Kara. You can take a closer look at the reusable water bottle studies and results. That's up right now at WRTV.com and the WRTV News app. My water bottle was not part of that study. <laughs>